。为了帮助法国和台湾的创业家有更多共享资源的机会 ，French Tech 台湾计划因而诞生，台湾成为了 French Tech 全球生态圈的第二十三个基地。接下来要欢迎的是来自法国 French Tech 台湾代表梁洛航博士，今天他要与我们分享的主题是 Ignite。Let's welcome Dr. Lohan Legiade. Okay, okay, I'll turn it. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, good evening, good morning, sorry. This is my pleasure uh, to be here. This morning, and to be invited by the Ministry of uh, Economic Affairs, and I would like also to specially thank uh, Business Next to have uh, sort of French Tech Taiwan as a speaker this morning. So today, I will introduce to you uh, a great initiative from France, who has also uh, impact on, on Taiwan and France startup exchange and innovation stakeholder uh, exchanges. Uh, it's not directly linked to investments, but it's a huge program to bring together France and Taiwan stakeholders, startup investors, all the ecosystem, uh, universities, companies, etc. etc. So my name is Laurent, uh, I used to work in the French office in Taipei until last week actually. And uh, within my work I used to uh, develop a French Tech Taiwan ecosystem which is built really to put France and Taiwan uh, much closer together to raise an awareness in France that Taiwan is a great uh, country for innovation with great talent great startup and industry, and to raise your awareness in Taiwan that France has much more than just wine, cheese and romantic cities, but also great innovation and a better and better investment ecosystem in France for your startup and your technology, or for you to invest in. So I will first introduce what is La French Tech. So if you thought about innovation in the world, you will think, especially for the startup world, you will think of Silicon Valley in the US, uh, you will think in Europe maybe Switzerland or Germany, you will think of Israel as a startup nation. So they are a startup nation, or they became a startup nation because they have a great ecosystem, good technology and incentives, also because they branded the ecosystem. They let the whole world know that they were doing and funding innovation. So France has been innovating for hundreds of years, invented the vaccines. 150 years ago, and many other things including lasers, but nobody knows because people know more about Bordeaux wine than our technologies. So La French Tech is a governmental uh, initiative starting in 2014, and the main objective is to brand French innovation and also to develop a lot of tools to help our startup to go global and to also bridge the French ecosystem together to put VC, VCs and bank with startup until maybe 10 years ago our bank were not used to discuss with startup. They even didn't know what startup means. So when a young entrepreneur goes to the bank, there is no way he could get a loan for his project. Now it's changing thanks to La French Tech. So La French Tech is a growing community. So within the community is all the innovation stakeholders, startup, universities, companies, VCs, etc. So it's a bit of a bit small. It's a movement, so it's we suddenly decide, hey, we're innovative, an innovative country. Let's the whole world knows and let's let's work together to bring the best startup on the global market. An ecosystem, public and private. Basically the French state is giving some tool incentive to the private sector to find the best startup, to nurture them to accelerate them and to bring them on the global market. A personalized approach uh, with a lot of um, dedicated tools. French Tech Ticket is a national uh, acceleration program for World War Startup uh, starting in 2016 and 17. It's the first batch of startup, one Taiwanese startup was selected by the way. Uh, the second batch of 9,000 World War application, 9,000 for 70 position. And French Tech Visa started uh, think, uh, this year in April or last year, uh, dedicated to entrepreneurs, founders, 
or you have a Taiwanese student who wants to work with a French startup, or investor who wants to invest in a French startup, so they can have a four year visa uh, quite quickly. It's a brand with a very nice logo that we'll show you later uh, to let people know in any fair. If you go to Innovex uh, this year, six, three years, in the beginning, you have a French tech booth with some French startup. If you go to uh, Mid Taipei, where we launch French Tech Taiwan uh, chapter, you will also see our branding, our startup uh, and speakers. So, so to gain some visibility and to raise awareness, uh, come to France, discuss with us, and we will find business opportunity in technological startup. So how to make first the French ecosystem work together? So the French state, discussing with the private sector, establish a list of criteria. And they say, if you are a geographical area, let's say one of the French big cities, you probably have already some investor, seasoned entrepreneur, a few startups, and your regional administration have probably some incentive for those startups. First, you need to know each other, make a proposal to the government, and prove that you're able to find the best startup, accelerate them, and bring them on the international market. So they were kind of bidding, and 14 cities in France get the French tech label. So each city, either uh, private sector or the mayor wanted to, to, to become a French tech city, the 14 cities were selected and get the French tech label. So they get some incentive from the government, and they get a lot of tools to uh, export the startup worldwide. And they cover all the key industries, so it's very small, but IoT, green tech, clean tech, uh, IO, uh, artificial intelligence, etc. So each city is covered very specific topic according to the strengths of its ecosystem. In parallel, uh, and to support French tech initiative, the French public bank is called BPI France. It's a uh, fund dedicated to innovation for SMEs, for startups, also for, for bigger corporates. And they establish an acceleration fund, which is a bit similar to the Head Start program, for those who are familiar with this program in Taiwan. The government gives some money to some private accelerator for them to invest in some startups. And so far, they spent 70 million euros in 10 accelerators in France. French tech grant, smaller amounts, but for the startup, the future unicorn, I would say, uh, they can get also this grant from this bank, BPA France, which is a major partner of the French tech in France and uh, abroad. And I want to mention uh, there is an uh, agreement between BPA France and the Ministry of Economic Affairs to co found co technical cooperation project between Taiwanese and French company. So, if you have a Taiwanese company with a French partner to co develop or develop new technologies, you can apply in Taiwan with BPI France and the Ministry of the MOEA to get some funding for your uh, joint project. French Tech Visa, which I already mentioned. A bit long. French Tech Ticket, which is an international uh, acceleration program. French Tech Pass, which is for French startup, was the most uh, or the biggest growth potential. They get a free pass with Business France, which is our trade, international trade export agency, to access very fast international uh, global markets. So, for instance, a French startup who gets a French tech pass would be able to work with Business France Taiwan to explore very quickly and for free uh, business and market investment opportunity here. So, I mentioned we have been innovating for, for a long time uh, in many sectors. So, this is a few success stories before, during, or thanks to La French Tech. Uh, but part of the ecosystem, we can show really we have a uh, great added value and te good technologies in France. So this Criteo, for instance, is linked to uh, advertising uh, online. That's already one of our unicorn. I think they have a branch in, in Tokyo, Singapore, and they can very often in Taiwan. Hopefully they will establish something here. Um, Internet of Things, Sigfox, who is present here through uh, its operator called Unabiz, which is uh, to mention that 
uh, Taiwan is already covered in terms of IoT network using Sigfox technology. So if you have new invention related to IoT, you may use Sigfox in Taiwan, it works. De Vialet on the right, which is a very high-end speaker, uh, very unique technology, will allow to have a very good quality of sound in a very small uh, apparel. And they have already uh, a shop, I think, in the 101 tower and as well. They were invested by Foxconn. So I'm not going to mention all blah blah car for the um, sharing car sharing services, cloud services, artificial intelligence, smart city, easy miles. Maybe some of you might have seen the autonomous little bus in the Xinyi roads. I guess it was uh, in spring or last year. It's also a French invention. And to summarize, we have about 9,500 startups in the French tech ecosystem uh, today. So it's startup only in technology, digital or hardware or software. Uh, and they raised in two years ago about uh, 2 billion euros. So France is becoming, in Europe, the second uh, country for the number of investment deal. It was not the case at all maybe five years ago. So really becoming, all the, all the way to becoming a startup nation. So this is for France, and La French Tech is about branding, and branding is about uh, reaching out. So they establish out of France what they call the French Tech Hubs. French Tech Hubs is work like a French Tech city in France. It's as long as there are motivated people knowing the startup ecosystem, willing to help French startup to come, to grow, and willing to help Taiwanese startup to go to France, they can apply to the French government to become a hub. So, as far as today, there are 22 official hubs in the region, about in Tokyo, Seoul, uh, Vietnam, in, in China, Hong Kong, and Taipei. So it's a very exclusive club, so we are very happy that Taiwan was selected. And it's actually a very, very active hub in the, in the region. That's what I will introduce later. There it is, French Tech Taiwan, which was launched uh, in 2016, November, at Mid Taipei. <laughs> And first, we'll introduce who it is, what it is, what, what we're doing. So, first, it's a community. Each hub, international French tech hub, is a community. Private entrepreneur, a French multinational, the French office, the French chamber, Business France, all the French tech hub, plus, and this is very important, all our Taiwanese partners. Either they are media, incubator, government, universities, startups, because the French resources here are. Uh, small, but the Taiwanese resources are huge. So, of course, if you want to create a startup hub to attract French companies, you need to work uh, efficient, uh, closely with, uh, with the local ecosystem, and it works very well. So, today we have 23 with the startup in Taiwan. What does that mean? It is startup founded by French people in Taiwan. Maybe there is a bit more, therefore, tech startup only. Maybe there is a bit more, but under our radar, I would say 23 new startups in the last few years. Uh, three will be created probably before the end of the year in Taiwan again. One in, uh, in the VR, uh, one in the hardware for clean tech. So which prove also that uh, we are attracting more and more new venture here in Taiwan. So it's small numbers, but it justify the, the, the presence of the French tech up here. The goal is to have more of those French entrepreneurs to come to Taiwan and develop uh, their company. Most of them are in, uh, in software and hardware. Um, and then we have a team of 12 active members, including myself, people from the French office, people from the private sector, multinational, SME, startups. Uh, I would say today our community is about 1,000 person, people who have been involved or in contact regularly with, with us in Taiwan. So it's, our point is to continue to grow the community and to continue to merge our resources. Among the community we have mentors and experts, people who know what is entrepreneurship. And of course, so we are mostly French company, but not exclusively. Uh, and all those people are committed to help uh, young entrepreneurs who come from France, we need some guidance. 
or Taiwanese entrepreneurs want to access the French market, for instance, in, uh, I don't know, in green tech or in, um, in space research, and they can contact us and we will recommend them to um, a good mentor. These are our Taiwanese uh, friends. Uh, we have been in relation with, with all of them for strong cooperation or just take change and talk. But this is what makes our community very rich and working because all those people are very interested in France, discovering France as a startup nation. And we are very happy to see uh, that once they understand what is happening in France, they are willing to send a startup and willing to know more. And the same for us, the more we meet great Taiwanese actors for innovation here, and the more we have a reason to attract French entrepreneurs here. See some of our um, good cooperation units in, uh, in France. So to show we are very well connected to France as well, not only localized. And a lot of French tech cities, and especially also in Paris, we have very good uh, relation with Paris. See the executive team. You might maybe recognize one person on the bottom right, which is just here. Um, executive team is people who work daily basis for, uh, to develop French Tech Taiwan. Well, much more people than that, but let's say on a daily basis to plan activities, etc., to be the face of our network. This is uh, people from uh, myself and some uh, seasoned entrepreneur, uh, a, new, a new person arrived from the French office on the top right, uh, and some also some uh, French young entrepreneur who started, who started a startup here in Taiwan. So they are the face of our community, they are the one who gives some direction. Uh, but there are more people than that who, is, who are involved as well. It's like any project you need people to do the job somewhere. Else. It's me and them. What we do as activities? We have been organizing that first is a community, so you need to entertain the community. We organize great French tech night, which are free, uh, we can drink. It meet a lot of business people, startup. Uh, we had a lot of VIPs. Here it is a mayor of Taiwan, or a French startup, or students, or VCs. I think it's rare in Taiwan to see so many different backgrounds and, and, and people mixed together. And that's what we su successfully built. Uh, there is uh, uh, usually 170 people each time. It's purely networking linked around startup uh, things, of course. Is linked to Taiwan and France mostly. And we will organize one uh, tomorrow evening. If it works, voila. It is a joint Taiwan French Tech Night and Grenoble, friend of Grenoble Night, because Grenoble is a bit of uh, the French Xinjou, it's our Silicon Valley with a lot of electronics companies and universities. And they're very tight link with uh, Taiwan. So they decided to organize a friend of Grenoble Night with us. And it's tomorrow evening at uh, at uh, Shui uh, Business Next, your space. Uh, I don't know if you can scan the QR code, but anyway, feel free to contact me or Felicia and here if you want to participate. Again, it's free, you will meet other people, this time more from Grenoble than other French place. See folks will be there as well. Um, and uh, so, uh, so if you want to see who is French Tech Taiwan, French and Taiwanese, please join our event tomorrow evening. I think the, the director of the French office also should, should be there. We do even with startup, which is a point, point uh, pitch at me Taipei, for instance. Uh, also, we did a hackathon, we did, we did many things. It's activity to help the French startup who come or the French startup who are here to mix with the local ecosystem and to, to, to get close tied with investors, incubator, government, etc. We do also some other activity, talk mentorship, when we invite French speakers to come, to come to Taiwan. I say we, we don't have a budget, but it's our partner. Uh, our best French partner is the French office in Taipei. Uh, so business France and French Chamber, who have also some tool and budget to bring people to Taiwan. And they use our network resources to do things around the startups. Last year at Mid Taipei, we had a grand French tech session. Uh, where we brought five accelerators from France and they all made a presentation and we had, I think, 13 startups at that time. So, and our role was to 
put them on the, on the scene to do some pitch and then to do some B2B during the week with a terrorist stakeholder. So a few success stories, what we did, oh, it's nice to have uh, parties. But basically, since we started, the number of startups we could send to France or we could bring from France has drastically increased. Um, I'm talking about uh, exchange on the sponsored program. Since we don't have uh, our own resources, our resources is you, all the, our French partners in France, incubator, accelerator, VCs. So we work closely with uh, Taiwanese government, with French government, and French private accelerator. Every time they're interested in exchange startup, they will find the fund to invite one, two startup for a few week acceleration in France. Or the opposite. We discuss for example with Garage Press, we make them aware there are a lot of great startup in France. We promote that program in France and it's very often now that they can they will select a French startup. So it's also a way a way to work. Uh, there is also a new program with the NDC we will start very soon and which involves also uh, Next. And, uh, the YEA program, which is a French government startup, funded startup program, uh, only open to six countries US, Finland, South Africa, South Korea, Italy, and since last year, Taiwan. Uh, so we could found so the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs will give a budget for us send so three startup to France for one week immersion B2B acceleration. If possible in the deep, deep tech area. And this year we succeeded in, in convincing the, the Taiwan Ministry of Science and Technology to co-found the program. So this year we will have six Taiwanese startups who go to France in November, paid by both Taiwanese and French government to spend one week of acceleration and B2B in France. Uh, so we're very proud to do, to do this and to see you good collaboration at the highest level uh, and this is something we initiated and we want to do much more like that bring the ecosystem together to make sure the uh, accelerator can work together the administration can work together and fund a lot of much more startup exchange <coughs> these other things we did uh, about startup exchange, the second line with Crédit Agricole, it's a, it's a bank, French bank. They have 12 incubators in France. I think it's quite rare for a bank to have so many incubators. 12, all uh, in different cities. And the point of their incubator is to bring technologies, services, software to their clients, the client of the bank. So the client says, hey, if you can find a startup in these fields, try to accelerate it and we will become maybe its first client. So they decided to, to they talk to Crédit Agricole Bank in Taiwan, talk with the headquarters in France, and say, hey, how about you give some budget, we select a fintech, Taiwanese fintech startup, and we send it to France also for a few weeks for acceleration. So they did that, did that once, hopefully they will do it more regularly for more startups soon. And we work this year with Decathlon, uh, Decathlon, which is a sports retail company, but also R&D company. Um, they brought their innovation team from France to have a discovery trip and they wanted us to organize an event with local startup. So they told us if you are startup in sport tech, in new material, textile, uh, retail, please make a pre-selection and eight of them will pitch in front of our innovation team. We did that, it was very successful, it was in a ticket store in Nebu. And uh, among those eight startups, two are still negotiating now with Decathlon, some uh, business deal. So I think linking corporate with startup is something also we can do here in Taiwan. It's happened very frequently in France, but if you could do that in Taiwan, it was very good system. So I will mention the YEA program and most, which also a great success for us to double the number of Taiwanese startups who will go to France this year, from this year, of which can continue for a long time. School Lab, which is an accelerator from Paris, used to have someone in Singapore and have decided to put someone in Taipei. It will be located uh, in Taiwan Tech Arena together with this uh, uh, local accelerator partner, AIPS from Singapore. So, so, one, so School Lab, we hire one French and one Taiwanese to be located here. And uh, together with uh, Taiwan Tech Arena, they will uh, show their network 
uh, School Lab is present I think, in Berkeley, uh, Singapore, uh, and Bogota, I think. There's another international startup acceleration network, another French actor who has chosen ta Taiwan uh, to, to do some uh, startup business. And French Tech Taiwan has uh, we have been offered an uh, office which will open next Wednesday in uh, Taiwan Tech Arena. So you can find us from there. We, have, we try to have someone uh, every day there to guide you through uh, what are our resources in France, what you can get in France if you want to go to France, uh, what you can get also here locally if you want to look for, for French talent here. So we are very happy to have this uh, visibility starting from next week. Taiwan Investments um, is in partnership with Business France, the trade office here uh, of, the, of, the, of the French office. So just to show you briefly that maybe until maybe 10, 15 years ago we have a few cross investment in startup or not at all between Taiwan and France. Uh, Foxconn I invested in many startups in the world but they have chosen a few startups in France, which is a kind of Pevialet for the uh, speaker hardware and activity, which is a LoRa network uh, technology. More and more VCs here are interested in discovering the potential of French data. Um, also, French VCs uh, are looking more and more toward Taiwan. This is also part of the job of French office and French Tech Taiwan network uh, to bring our VCs, uh, mostly in uh, Sydney, around more and more around. Uh, to come to Taiwan and to invest in some good startup here. This is a ca case of uh, Korea Capital uh, with Fleur Pellerin, which is actually the creator of La French Tech, she, well, she used to be a minister. came twice uh, and, and is very keen to, to look for investment opportunities here in, in Taiwan. As those great uh, French startups, the startup we have in our ecosystem of a, a huge growth potential, some of them, and more and more of them, actually choose Taiwan to have a base in Asia. The case of Sigfox, I mentioned. See it there, um, we mean sky and earth. They are doing some floating uh, devices to put on a pond or lake, and on it you put solar panel. I don't know if you saw in Taoyuan and Suing Gaoxiong, some of the pond have been covered with solar panel. And the floaters are made from Celetair and they are based in Tainan. <coughs> Uh, School Lab I mentioned, Orange Fab is a French multinational, it's an accelerator that is in Tokyo, Seoul, and uh, Tokyo, Seoul, and Taipei, and they accelerate Taiwan startup, uh, bring them also on the global market to their interest. In. And Hub to You is a startup from Grenoble. They develop a touch screen when your finger can feel the texture or the feeling of touching the button or moving things. And they also have someone here since two years as Taiwan is of course a relevant market for the market but also partner for them. So that's basically what it is. This is a photo taken last year for the one year anniversary of Huashek uh, Taiwan. So we are enthusiasts, we love tech, uh, we like to help startups, and we want to bridge France and Taiwan much closer together. It's working very well. We have more startup exchange. Uh, more business opportunities and investors will come. I encourage you to talk to us or our partner, French Office, Business France, uh, French Chamber, to discover all the opportunity of investment in France. If there are some uh, startups you like, you can try to bring them here. Uh, our next event is tomorrow evening, networking night. Uh, next bigger event will be probably a mid Taipei in November. Uh, before that, we might have a pitch. Uh, exchange with the Taifu EMBA Association, that's the NTU EMBA Startup Association. They want us to work with us to, to do some uh, networking and startup pitch. So basically we work on opportunities. If you think you have an interest in working with France, then you can contact us uh, and we can design uh, a program, something for you. So far it's uh, all free of charges, uh, so you should uh, come to us uh, very quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.